Hi everybody, I'm Hope with Battery Watering Technologies. This is tip number two in our video vault. I want to welcome all of my new viewers. Everybody else, welcome back. Today we're showing you how to install a partially assembled kit on an 18 cell industrial battery. The 18 cell partially assembled layout is so common it fits on 95% of the batteries in the market. So if you're not quite sure of the battery dimensions but you know the manufacturer and model, this is absolutely the best way to order. There are partially assembled kits available for 12, 18, and 24 cell battery layouts as well. First, always wear personal protective equipment as required by your employer anytime you're working with batteries to protect yourself from battery acid. You will also need something to cut the tubing. Be sure that the tubing cutter you select is insulated, just like this one. Also, there should be no metal object around the battery whatsoever. Next, we're gonna wipe down the top of the battery using a soft towel to remove dirt and residue. Then, you're gonna to wanna to remove the vent caps from the battery. At this point, you must make sure the electrolyte levels are above the plates. If the levels are below the plates, manually add just enough water to cover the plates in each cell. One thing I would like to mention, if your battery requires an adapter for a 35 millimeter opening, insert the adapter into the vent well before you install the valve. Using the drawing provided, lay the partially assembled string of valves, the valves that are connected together by the tubing on top of the battery and gently insert each valve into the vent well without snapping the valves completely into place. And while you're doing this, be sure to wrap the tubing underneath the cables whenever possible. They should never be pinched. Now review the drawing and make sure that your layout is correct. Also, additional tubing is provided with the partially assembled kit. The tubing is used to connect the ends of the strings together. Push the tubing all the way into the barb so it is flush with the valve. Once you've connected the end of the tubing to the valve, leave a loop in the tubing. Measure the tubing to the middle of the valve you will attach it to and cut the tubing squarely and evenly. Once everything is attached, firmly press the valves into the vent wells. It's always good practice to tie down heavy gauge battery cables, but do not tie them to the watering system because the tie downs may restrict water flow. The system is now fully installed. One important note, you have to wait until the battery has completed its next full charge cycle before watering. Always water the battery after charging. Thanks for watching, see you soon.